Jackson. I'm Cade. And I'm Kaylee. And this is East Jackson Action News. Today is Monday, March 9th. Choices for today are choice one, pig and blasket, banquet blasket. Choice two, BBQ sandwich basket. Choice three, grilled tree cheese. Serve with fries, coleslaw, celery, and choice of fruit. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the East Jackson Pledge. We, the Eagles of East Jackson Elementary, pledge to respect and help each other, take care of our school, and be responsible for achieving our goals. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Think about your goals and what you would like to accomplish today. Stay tuned for some special announcements. Today is day two of our special rotation. Volleyball and Aggies Club. You have a meeting today at this corner to 345. Please be sure you have a right for free pickup. Drama Club, First Grade Art, Coding, and Knack Club. You have a meeting tomorrow after school until 345. Please be sure that you've made arrangements for pickup. Back to question of the week. This week's question was, how old would Dr. Seuss be if he were still alive? Answer was 116 years. Let's get some winners. Our first winner is Michaela and Miss Wilson's class. Second person. Dropping. Sorry. Peyton Ledford. And our third winner. Martha. That's Martha. Michaela. Peyton. Come to meet us at it to go to your prize. Bye. Welcome back to Question of the Week. This week's question is, this NASA announced that it would end the shuttle program in 2011. What space shuttle carried out the final mission during July 8th to 21st in 2011? Use Galileo and keyword space shuttle to find your answer. Welcome to Student Spotlight. Today we are spotlighting Emery Beecham. Emery was Miss Bennett for the day last week, and she was so helpful and sweet with the kids. She was an excellent role model for all the little ones, and Miss Bennett's class really enjoyed having her there. Great job, Emery. You can come to the Media Center to collect your prize. We're extending our Read Across America Flipgrid Challenge for just a few more days. If you haven't had a chance to post your video book talk to our Read Across America Flipgrid, you can find the link to the Flipgrid on your Clever Portal. I will close the Flipgrid out tomorrow after school and winners will be announced on Thursday morning's news. This concludes today's edition of East Jackson Action News. Remember, expect more, achieve more. Have a great day!